Well, well, well. Fancy meeting you here, Spartans. What's going on? I'm Mitchell Renz from Chat Sports, and this is Under the Wire. It's another shorty but goody with this episode. We'll recap one of the biggest global weekends on the Spartan calendar, catch you up on the U.S. Mountain Series, and get you prepped for the U.S. National Series race in Big Bear this weekend. Enough small talk. Let's go. One of the biggest social media holidays of the year just so happened to fall on one of the most jam-packed weekends for Spartan. With seven different countries hosting either a national or regional series race across four global regions, the force was strong with this one. Grab your passport and let's take a look. I'm out of breath just watching that one. <laughs> I took one look at that video and couldn't help but fast forward to Tahoe. Man, I'm totally stoked for this year. While there was a lot of international race action over the weekend, Montana held down the fort in the US, hosting the first Mountain Series race in good old Big Fork, Montana. The race was the start of a seven race series and brought competition to a whole new level. Following the same point system as the US National Series, First place Ian Hossack took home 300 points and the first win of the series, followed by Mikhail, Matt Rock, and Aaron Newell. Spokane, Washington native and queen of consistency, Alyssa Holly took home the gold in Montana for the first race of the Mountain Series. Ashley Heller came in second, Jessica Lemon at third. The second Mountain Series race is this upcoming Sunday, just after Saturday's stop in Big Bear of the U.S. National Series. Another first of the year, U.S. Stadium Series. In this series, Spartans travel around the country to various baseball and football stadiums, presenting a whole new class of action. Nationals Park finally saw some winners this past weekend, as this series kicked off in D.C., where some familiar stadium faces gathered to make their mark. Now, before I give you the results of the race at Nationals Park, which stadium series will you compete in this year? If you're watching this on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, I want you to comment below. And if you want to challenge me on June 22nd at AT&T Stadium, hit me up on IG or Twitter at MitchellRens365. No surprise, here were these three guys getting podium spots. It's just a matter of where. Ryan Kent was the guy who came out on top, finishing the course in an astounding 23 minutes flat. Wow, that's fast. But Isaiah Vidal wasn't far behind him, completing the race just seven seconds, seconds after Kent. And then it was Bracken Craker landing the third spot, crossing the finish line six seconds after Isaiah. Talk about a nail biter. The women's race was not as close, but just as stacked. Orla Walsh clocked in just under 27 minutes, snagging first place with Corinna Coffin and Laura Cummings placing behind her in second and third. Mexico and East Asia were part of the action-packed weekend, as well as the DOC region, made up of Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. All the countries hosted regional and national series of their own. Let's check it out. The second race of five in the East Asia Regional Series took place over the weekend in Taiwan. French faves Miriam Guillaume and Jackie Bozier both took home first place in the Super. St. Paul and Austria hosted the second of three races in the DOC Regional Series. Italy's Eugenio Bianchi came in with an epic finish and first place win, while Hungary's Eniko Cezernok did the same for the females. The Mexican National Series had their second race this past weekend as well. Eugenio Romero and Fabiola Corona made Mexico proud, taking home gold for their respective fields. Coming off his New Jersey super win, U.S. National Series contender, and my dude Ryan Kempson was active over the weekend. Kempson took on the Boston Sprint on Saturday, getting prepped for Big Bear this weekend. Look at him, ready to go. The Boston course on Saturday was a sprint of about four miles. So you know, just enough to get the heart rate up for our Spartans, but enough to kill me. Ryan Kempson making it look as easy as always. Look good, feel good, right? 
Here's Kempson after the race. Felt great out on the course today. Uh, Northeast races are always fun. They're just tactical. Um, this one was really fast. I feel great about Big Bear. Uh, I've never really trained hard for a mountain race before, and uh, not just me, I think everybody's prepared for this race, the climbs after they saw um, how hard it was last year. So I, I think I'm excited. Everybody is you know, specific for this race. Everybody's getting ready for the climbs. Um, it's a long race, but I hope everybody's pretty close and we have to really duke it out. Um, it's gonna hurt again, so I'm excited about that. Well, he said it. Big Bear is the next stop of the U.S. National Series, and not only is it the first piece of the series, but the venue is also co-hosting an official Mountain Series race. So this course is going to be a monster. Over 13 miles and 1,700 feet of elevation gain. It's going to be the toughest challenge the athletes have faced all year. Big weekend of Big Bear U.S. National Series on Saturday, Mountain Series race on Sunday. Be sure to stay tuned to Spartan Race on Instagram for all the latest and head to Spartan.com after the race for the full broadcast. We'll be back with all the ins and outs of the weekend on our next episode. Until then, I'm Mitchell Renz from Chat Sports, and this has been Under the Wire.